Absolutely, guys. We had a number of strong thunderstorms out there earlier today, and then it kind of gave way to some clearing skies right around sunset, which allowed for a double rainbow to form. This is actually an awesome uh, viewer video that was sent in by Mr. Mike Hathaway from Deering, Georgia. You can see that second rainbow right there just kind of fade on top of it. But uh, this was on the opposite side of that sunset that was uh, happening earlier this evening, and we did have a few stronger storms, and you can see all the severe weather reports from these storms across most of the two states. So you can see a around the Atlanta Metro all the way through the Western CS array and then another strong wave up towards Greenville Spartanburg that made its way all the way to Columbia. Now most of the CS array did see some wet weather and some stronger winds at times, but not really enough to really see widespread tree damage like we did see in other areas of the state. But all this severe weather threat is now moving off the coast. This cold front is inching closer towards us and still going to be a factor for tomorrow. And that could actually set off a few stronger thunderstorms, mainly south of Augusta Tuesday afternoon. We're expecting a dry start to the day, but later into the by around four, five, six o'clock, we're expecting those storms to fire up along that front. Right now, it looks like the stormy weather should stay mainly south of I-20. Cannot rule out that some of this uh, storm condition, uh, some of these storms do make their way closer to the interstate, but the severe weather threat should stay away from us here in Augusta. As we head into Wednesday, we are expecting a little bit drier outlook. We'll stay hot and humid, but then into our Thursday, we are expecting another decent round of potentially strong, even severe storms. So our patterns not necessarily changing too much over the next Next couple of days, uh, but for tomorrow, we're just going to watch mainly our southern counties that are still underneath a marginal to slight severe weather risk. So mainly just a chance for a few isolated stronger storms tomorrow. Not likely going to be as strong as what we did see earlier today. And those rain chances do ramp up again late into the week. Thursday, Friday, we're expecting another decent round of at least scattered storms, and some of those could be strong. So that's something we're going to be uh, keeping a close eye on later into the week. Now, as far as the heat index over the next couple of days, that's still going to be likely over 100 most of the afternoon. So this is our heat index tomorrow here in Augusta. Could get close to 104 times between 2 and 4 o'clock. So a dangerous heat again. No heat advisories in effect. We have to get the heat index up to 110 in order to see that, but still dangerous nonetheless. So make sure you are staying nice and hydrated. Temperatures not really dropping too much throughout the week. We'll stay seasonal at least mid 90s, possibly even a degree or two hotter by the weekend. So pretty steady pattern for us with a lot of heat, a lot of humidity and pretty much uh, daily rain chances as well, mainly into the afternoon and early evening. Just those chance for a few isolated storms tomorrow, mainly south of I-20, a little bit drier Wednesday. Light, uh, likely going to see a better chance for those storms Thursday and Friday. And then into the weekend, we are staying nice and hot with highs near 95. Most of our kids back in school now. And you may